What's going on everybody? The past few days I have been farming a new location and this location also has a unique event, zone event rather, that's really, really nice to finish on top of the farms that you're currently running. And so we're going to jump into this and check out this new farming location to mix up the pace and give you another spot to potentially farm some massive legendary items. Let's jump right into it. Really quickly, I wanted to mention that almost 80% of you are not subscribed. So if you do enjoy the content and you want to check out the free-to-play progression or any of the other information about the daily Diablo Immortal content, I would really appreciate it if you do sub. It does help out the channel. Uh, and now let's jump right into that spot. So as I mentioned, I've been farming for the past couple of days and I've acquired quite a few legendary items from this location. And today we're going to be heading over to the Darkwood, which I don't believe is a location that I've found too many farm locations at so far. There's a few potential ones uh, like the Nesting Ground, the Cursed Grove, uh, the Deer Elect Timber Yard, and the Fetid Swamp. I've kind of tested a few of them and unfortunately I haven't tested them enough, but I have been running this new one over in the Dark would uh literally like right if you zoom in <laughs> on top of the actual map name is where we're going to be headed right next to the tree of Inifus here which also has the unique zone event in so we're really close to the unique zone event location as well as a solid farm and so it's a really nice combination because the unique zone event is this corruption mechanic here which we'll see as soon as we load in and when we defeat monsters we'll gain corruption uh which increases our damage that we take but that doesn't really matter because when we reach 100 percent, we can travel to this location which is this tree right here and purify the corruption by defeating a shadow clone uh, of yourself i'm not quite sure uh what that is yet i have not gone ahead and finished it because i wanted to do it here on the video but first we're going to go to the farm spot which is actually just north or southwest of the waypoint here we're going to pass through all these wolves and i'll just go ahead and walk the path real quick here because it is in this little square but we're not going to quite go along the entire square we're going to go down this south uh, east part of it and go all the way down into this corner you can see there's a ton of wolves that are following us pick up this spawn down here and then make our way around the box and instead of continuing on this path we're actually going to cut upwards into this spawn location here and then go directly north into this next spawn location where another boss will might spawn depending on where uh, or if you're lucky into another spawn location here and then following up with another spawn location north and then we're going to cross the road and this is where you're going to want someone to kind of be a little bit ahead of your group because you're going to want to pick up this spawn location and to try to keep up your kill streaks and then jump over to this spawn location back to the original start and going down southwest of this box this spot is really really solid you can get infinite kill streaks here as long as there's no bounties just running through and uh, messing you up there's also a bunch of quests, so that is a nice bonus because you do want to get those daily quests in for the boss as well as the monster spawn. But overall, a very nice spot. And I'll go ahead and showcase what this looks like when we're group farming as well as the shrine spawns that spawn more often when you're group farming. When we decided to test this early on, we actually got a few uh, bounty goers uh, just running through our area, kind of messing up our farm. But later on, we were actually able to keep up a kill streak. The problem is, is if you have like someone doing bounties or a solo player running through and they're far away from, enough from you like perhaps on the other side of this farm uh you actually what ends up happening is you have the monster spawn at the rate that they killed it and so it's a single player which doesn't spawn quick enough for you to efficiently farm now also at the beginning of this we ended up picking up a couple shrines as well as tried to go along the full square at the bottom left uh, or rather the far west part of that box here on the map it did not work nearly as well as what I showed you just then which was cutting through the middle up to the north parts of this farm so overall pretty solid you can see here the monsters are spawning quite quickly and as long as your group is able to keep up with you most of us were kind of new to this farm location. Uh, I've only done it a few times. And so it took some time getting used to. And of course, you can see here that because of those bounty goers, it did really mess up a few of the spawn locations. And it kind of messed up our whole vibe going through here. But as I mentioned, I'll go ahead and showcase a infinite kill streak in just a moment. But 
you will see in the top left we have the corruption and we're kind of progressing it as we go through i'm already at 100 uh, and there's actually quite a few shrines that do spawn there's about two in this area and that will ha help your experience rates if you happen to get the xp shrine i also tried going up and around a few times as you can see here to see if there's any extra spawn locations but it's not necessary you could just go straight along the road here uh, and then uh, this continues onwards and i'll go ahead and just showcase what we were able to get to in terms of kill streak before someone else again with the bounties ended up messing it up so you can see here we're actually up at 110 kills which is really really solid and uh when we're getting to this point we know that we can get infinite kill streaks as long as there's no one messing up the farm because this is more kills than the spawns in the area altogether and so we know that we can go infinite it's just that we had a lot of bounties in this area it was that kind of peak playing time for a lot of people so um it was uh, a little unfortunate but we're gonna go ahead and try out this corruption event and go over the actual statistics for this spot so back into the game here and when we're farming this spot uh the dark wood right in the middle of the map we're gonna get expect about 80 to 90k experience per minute and also quite a few legendaries dropped as i mentioned i farmed this for about uh three to four hours and i was able to get this amount of legendaries so one two three uh four so we ended up getting about 10 legendaries a course of three or four hours using treasure hunter as well so you could expect to see about three legendaries an hour here which is quite solid very very good uh for the average farm spot but let's check out this corruption event so we're at the tree of Inifus, and we're gonna see uh, how I activate this. Okay, we just click on the tree. Again, I've never done this before, but it looks like we're just gonna make, basically get a shadow clone to come at us right here. Um, and yep, it's a copy of us. And we just finished this off. We'll have to see what kind of rewards we get from killing our own clone. Um, pretty solid though. Hopefully it's a legendary. I honestly have no idea if it's just enchanted dust. Uh, that could be very good. While I'm playing on my free to play, I've noticed that, ooh, a glowing shard. Uh, so we get a glowing shard and we get a little bit of loot. So I actually really like this. It's a 21 second or 21 minute cooldown. But as you're farming, you'll just be able to pop this one and get basically extra crafting resources. Again, it's right next to the farming location. So it's really absolutely worth doing this and i've noticed that on my free to play character now that i'm leveling them up i really really the huge bottleneck for a lot of my combat rating is actually the upgrade materials because the server paragon is at what is it 130 yeah so it's at 130 and so with the server paragon being at 130 and you're crushing through the levels you actually get a lot of gear quickly and you get to those higher combat ratings but a big portion of your combat rating comes from your gear here uh like your 29 you can see 29 plus 29 that's almost 60 combat rating. it's 58 combat rating per uh slot here and you can't get that unless you have the actual upgrade materials so nice uh to kind of do the frozen tundra or the dark wood farming locations if you can to pick up some extra crafting materials and those will help you quite a bit but hopefully you enjoyed the new farming location let me know if you all want to try it out i have a few more uh that i have really really enjoyed doing and it's always better to find more farming locations for everyone to enjoy especially for the servers like ours which are moderately active and if you want to go ahead and do like for example the uh, realm of damnation farms they're oftentimes have people in them or the ship farm or library farm or the cemetery farm all those oftentimes have people in them and so you kind of mix it up or if you just kind of are tired of the hell look you can go ahead and jump into the dark wood look so there you have it hopefully you enjoyed and i will see you in the next video